And we would let the word of the Lord change us. Jesus. Praise God. Amen. I'm glad for answered prayer today. How many has the Lord answered a prayer for you? Amen. He protects, He keeps, He heals. And, and He does save. And I'm thankful for it. Hallelujah. One more time, would you just give thanks to the Lord today? Hallelujah. 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 We bless you, Lord. We thank you for your goodness to us. We thank you for your care, for your protection, for your blessing, for your salvation. Hallelujah. We worship you today, O God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. The Lord is good. Amen. God bless you. You can be seated. And uh, I just want to tell an answer to prayer that I heard about this week from Africa. There's a missionary family that moved from Cameroon to one of the small uh, nations on the west coast. And their eldest daughter uh, would go to Cameroon for school and come home to where they lived in this other country. When she went back to school, she got malaria and she went into a coma. Aga kui ta siis kooli tagasi naases jõudus nii, et ta sai malaaria ning ta langes koomasse. So one day I got a, an email saying to people all around the world, please pray for this little girl. Ja ühe päeval mulle saabus e-post, kus paluti rahvast üle terve maailma paluda selle tüdukus. And as a parent, can you imagine what it would be like if your child was in a different country and very sick? Possibly uh, life So I prayed, and I'm sure many, many others uh, prayed. And, and I wrote it down to share with you today, but the next day I got another email. They said that the daughter had awakened and she's doing much better. And, and as a parent, I can relate about relief. So aren't you thankful that God is able to hear your prayer? And these prayers that we prayed for today, God heard your prayer. And He is able to do more than you can think. Hallelujah. Praise God. I worship the Lord today because He's good and His mercy is forever. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, the Lord is so good. Uh, and I, I have a, a question for you today. And this question came before the problems with the words on the screen or anything else today. The, the question is, have you experienced any stress this week? <laughs> Has anybody had any stress this week? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> And uh, stress is part of life. <laughs> oh my word. But um, stress is one of these parts of life. And I thank God that He knows before it happens. 
And we're not the first um, uh, human beings on earth that have experienced stress. Ja meil ole mitte esimesed inimesed maa kera, kes stressi kogevad. I wanted to show you some funny pictures about stressful situations. Ma oleks tahtnud jagada naljakaid fotosid stressi rohkem. But you don't need a picture. Aga see ei vaja fotot. Because all you have to do is close your eyes. You can remember the last stressful situation in your own life. And, uh, and stress is one of those things that no one is immune to. Um, one humorous writer said that there are only two things that you can be sure of in life. He said the first one is death. And the second one is the tax man. And there are always these things that you can count on. <laughs> but it's also true. That you can count on God. You can count on his strength. You can be confident in him. Even in the midst of stress. And uh, so many things uh, cause us stress. And depending on our personalities, there may well be certain things that don't cause anyone else stress, but they cause us stress. Um, uh, there's, a, uh, there's a tower that's famous in Italy called the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And, uh, and if you take a picture of the Leaning Tower of Pisa, ja kui sa Pisa tornist, uh, teed foto, then uh, the, the tower is going to be crooked. Siis, the picture is going to be straight. And I saw where uh, a certain person that couldn't stand it Ja ma nägin ühte, ühte inimest, kes ei suutnud sellega kuidagi leppida. Had taken their picture that was hanging on a, a nail. Uh, oli mõtnud foto, mis oli siis rippumas uh, kuskil naela või nõela. We just had a tower fall. <laughs> but they turned the picture so that the tower would be straight. Ja, ja siis inimene, kes seda fotot nägi, ta oli selle foto keerad nii, et see torm oleks püsti mitte viit. This week we found out from our landlord. Ja see nädal me saime teada uh, maja omanikult. Uh, that uh, the people that he was bringing to our house, as we look at the house, were interested in buying the house. So suddenly, we're not sure within a week Ja järsku juhtub selline olukord, et me ei ole enam kindla. If we're going to get word that yes, they want to buy the house and we should find a new place to live in Jesus. But the good news is that in June we get our permanent residence permit. And maybe we can uh, get a loan from the bank and find another place. But God knows all things. And nothing is hidden from Him. And your stressful situation, it doesn't cause God stress. Because He sees everything. And nothing is a surprise to Him. Um, Christopher doesn't like surprises. Um, but all of us, <laughs> None of us like bad surprises. We can all agree on that. Um, but, uh, I don't like any surprises. Any surprises. <laughs> I want it to be told to me first. That's right. All of us would rather hear about the stressful situation before it's a surprise. Oh. Isn't it true? <laughs> And uh, it's good after a stressful week ja peale nädalat, to come into the house of the Lord on hea tulla and to come into His presence and to connect with uh, the one that's bigger than your stress. Leida side sellega, kes on meie the one that knows 
beyond the stress what's going to happen and it's good to gather as a church and be refreshed and I think I'm talking to some people that need I know at least that the sound from my voice is bouncing off the wall and coming back to me. Hallelujah. And, uh, and there, there's on the uh, on a computer. If you ever have looked at a computer, some of you. There's a little button. You can see it up here, but it's bigger here. And, and in Estonian, it's, a, it's Vas, uh, Vaskenda. 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 You push that, and everything is refreshed on the screen. Everything is updated. Everything is renewed. And, uh, and if there's a problem on the screen, and you can't see clearly, you push that button, and everything is refreshed so you can see clearly. And then I'm off <laughs> I want to preach about refresh. Uh, uh, renew. And uh, these are things that we need in our lives. Refreshing talks about giving new energy. New strength. New resources. New power. Uh, somebody takes a, a, a nap or they sleep all night and they wake up and they say, if they've had a good night, <laughs> they say, I feel calm and I feel refreshed. Can you think back to the last time you were refreshed when you slept? <laughs> and at least during your remont, they weren't working at night. <laughs> So you could at least be refreshed at night. <laughs> uh, refreshing, uh, it, it's a stimulation. It's, it's something that brings things uh, freshly to your mind, for example. Or sometimes people, um, I'm not sure if they would say this in Estonian, but in English they would say, I need to refresh my skills, so I'm going to take a course. So people have training at their job. And then they can remember more clearly what they need to do. This is kind of what happens when we come to church on Sunday. We, we've lived... Sometimes a stressful week. And we come into the presence of God. And no matter what happens and what doesn't happen. God meets with us. And when we feel his presence. And we hear from his word. And we, uh, our spirits are renewed. Then we receive fresh strength. We leave seen more clearly. We remember things that God brings back to our mind. And the stories that are so familiar to us that we've heard many times before, suddenly they're fresh. And we need to be refreshed. Yeah. Hallelujah. And aren't you thankful that you can be refreshed in the Lord today? And I wonder if you just lift your hands for a moment and thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, that you refresh us with your spirit and your presence and your word, oh God, with your people. 
Hallelujah. We love you so much for all that you do, praise. And we praise you. And we thank you. And we worship you, oh God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Um, there, there's even an idiom in English, at least. Where you can speak about refreshing a glass of water or whatever it is that someone has in front of them. Do you need to be filled up again? And so I ask you today, do you need to be filled up again? I need to be filled with His Spirit again. Because His Spirit is what brings life. It's what sustains me. It's what allows me to keep going forward. No matter what is happening in life around me. Hallelujah. Praise God. And I need a refreshing from the Lord. Praise God. Uh, if you go with me to Genesis chapter 41. It, it tells um, a moment in the life of Joseph. And uh, Joseph has been uh, sold into slavery by his own 11 brothers. And, uh, and he, they, they have hated him so much that they uh, sent him away as a slave and told their father that he died. And so God had given him dreams. And, uh, and it went from these dreams of great things in the future to him being sold as a slave and leading his own country and his family. How could you get any lower than that? Then he was sold in Egypt. And he served the uh, captain of Pharaoh's guard. But God began to bless him. And after some time, his master saw that everything Joseph did prospered. He saw the hand of God upon him. And so his master put every responsibility in the whole house in, in Joseph's hand. And after some time, the master didn't even know what was going on in his own house except the bread that he had and what he had to drink. He totally trusted Joseph. But then his wife lied about Joseph. And the master was angry and put him in prison. And so here's this young man with dreams of great things. He's been reduced to slavery. He was the favorite son, and now he's a slave far away. And that starts to get a little bit better, and then he's put in prison. And it wasn't for a short time, it was for years. And, uh, and sometimes things get so stressful in life, you realize, I thought things couldn't be worse, but they are. And suddenly, Joseph was in prison. But he began to um, help the prison guard. And the prison guard saw that everything Joseph did prospered. And after a while, the prison guard gave every responsibility to Joseph. 
Ja mõne aja pärast andis vangu, vangi valur kõik vastutuse äh, vanglas tehtavate and asjade eest Joosepile. He didn't even check on things because he totally trusted him. Ja ta isegi ei kontrollinud Joosepit, vaid ta usaldas teda täielikult. And one day here came two of Pharaoh's servants. Ja ühel päeval sattus vanglasse kaks Vaarao teenijad. And Pharaoh had thrown them in prison because they had made him angry. Ja Vaarao oli visanud nad vangi selle pärast, et nad olid teda pahandanud. They offended him. Ja piha, and pihaseks neid. One was a baker. Üks oli uh, uh, vagar. And one was a butler. Ja teine oli joogikallaja. And uh, Joseph uh, was instructed to take care of them by the prison guard. Ja Joosepile uh, anti uh, juhendeid, et ta peaks nende eest uh, hoolt kandma. And one day they woke up and they were really sad and upset because they both dreamed a dream that troubled them. Ja ühel päeval need kaks vangi ärkasid üles väga purvad, sest et nad nägid une nagu, mis neid väga äh, häiris. So Joseph came in. Ja tuli Joosep sinna nende juurde. And he saw that their faces were sad, so he said, what's wrong nägi today? Nägi neid sellisena kurvana ning küsis, et mis on juhtunud. And they said, we both had a dream. Ja nad vastasid, me mõlemad nägime une nagu. And, uh, and Joseph said, uh, God can interpret dreams. Ja Joosep ütles, et issand saab tõkkida unenägude tähendust. So tell me your dream. Ja et öelge mulle oma unenägu. And uh, they told him his dreams and, and he interpreted them. Ja nad rääksid Joosepile need unenäod ning Joosep tõljendas need unenäod. And to one he said in three days you're ja. going to be restored to your position as the butler. Ja ühele neist ütles, et kolme päeva pärast su ameti koht joogi kallajana taastatakse. And the other ones uh, to whom he said to the other one in three days you're going to be hung ja teisele ütles et kolme päeva pärast siis kootakse üles and that's exactly what happened ja täpselt niimoodi ka sündis and Joseph had said to the one who would be restored, remember me when you are back in Pharaoh's presence ja, ja and be kind to me. Talk to him about me. But for two years, the butler forgot about Joseph. And then Pharaoh had a dream. Ja siis juhtus, et oli unenägu. And no one could interpret his dream. And the Bible says, then the butler remembered Joseph. Now, if I had been put in prison by the king of Estonia, by President Ilves, and then I was restored, I wouldn't really want to talk with him about it again. <laughs> I wouldn't want to forget all about it. And be happy with me. <laughs> you remember that time when you were really upset with me? <laughs> and you could have killed me? <laughs> Let me remind you about that. <laughs> But this man did remind Pharaoh. And so Pharaoh said, send and bring him. And uh, Joseph was in prison probably with a large beard. He was just a prisoner. But the custom of the Egyptians was to be shaven. So, so they shaved him and gave him new clothes. And this slave prisoner stands before the king. Ja nüüd orjastvang seisab kuninga ees. It's incredible. It's on hammerstar. It could have been the the fulfillment of those dreams of great things in the future just that moment. Et sel hetkel võis need võisid need unenäod tõeks saada, mis oli profeteeringuna tema tulevik. But it gets better. He tells Pharaoh what the dream means. He says God knows dreams. And then he gives advice to Pharaoh. And Pharaoh says it shall be done like this. And in fact, there's no one else, is there? And he says to all of his uh, people. In whom is the Spirit of God and who could interpret this dream? 
Jumala vain, kes suudaks pilkida onelekuse. So let's make Joseph the slave prisoner. Ja nii siis Vaara ütleb, et las sellest Joosepist, kes oli uh, orjana vang. Let's make him the prime minister. Las tema nüüd saada peaministriks. And everything in the kingdom will ja be in his hands. Kui kuning riigis on tema käes. Everything and he took off his signet ring and he put it on Joseph's ja hand. Osa oma, uh, sõrmuse, he had the authority. Sõrme. He said everything in the kingdom is in his hands. Ja ütles, on tema Except for the throne. I am Pharaoh, I have said it. Mina olen Baal, yes, ja olen seda and, and suddenly Joseph ja nii, became the most important person under Pharaoh Juhtus, in all of Egypt. Et Joosepist sai kõige tähtsam isik Egiptuses Vaaro õukonnas. But it doesn't stop there. Aga see olukord ei lõppe seal. He used the wisdom that God gave him. Ta kasutas seda tarkust, mida Issa ta lainis. And he prepared the kingdom for a great famine. Ning hoidis seda Vaaro kuningriiki. And this famine was in the whole earth. Ja see põud, see, see nelja aeg oli kogu maailmas. And because of what he had done for Egypt, ja Egypt was ready for a famine. Tänu sellele, mida Joosep oli teinud Egiptuse heaks, oli Egiptuse valmis. And Egiptus all valmis. the other nations began coming to Egypt selle põua vastu seisma ning for grain. kõik teised riigid tulid Egiptusest ja Egiptusest. Who did they speak ja to? Ja millega nad rääkisid selle jaoks? Pharaoh said, let them speak to Joseph. So it's not just the kingdom, but it's all of the known world that's coming to Joseph. And in the middle of your stress, when you think it couldn't get worse, but it did, I today, don't give up, but trust in God's plan and keep going forward. Don't ever stop being faithful. Be faithful in what God has given you. Do what you know to do. And God will bring about His plan for your life. Hallelujah. Would you praise the Lord for all that? Oh God, we love you. And we trust you. And we believe you. And we praise you today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise God. God. Praise, God. Praise God. In Genesis Hallelujah. number ch uh, 41, chapter 41. Uh, he had a, a wife. Joseph had a wife. Joseph had a wife. And uh, this wife had two children. Ja tema naisel oli kaks last. And I preached a little bit in the past on the name of the second one. And I want to mention it again today. Ma olen varem sellest ütlustanud selle teise lapse nime osas. In verse 52. Salmis 51. The name of the second he called Ephraim. This name of the first is in 41 and verse 52. Yeah, but you can okay, do it how it is in this. 52 for a story. Ja teisele ta pani nimeks Ephraim, Saim 52, Eesti Biibis. For God has caused me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction. Sest ta ütles, Jumal on mind teinud viljakaks mu viletsuse maa. If you go through affliction, kui sa oled sellises olukorras, et sa oled viletsuse maa. If you go through stress, kui sa oled stress. If you go through disappointments, sul on pettumuse. If you go through frustrations, sa oled... If you go through sorrow, then God can still bring about His plan in the middle of that. You would think that the story of Joseph would be that he was restored to his land and his family. Instead of being in a hostile place. But God is so powerful. 
that he can take your hostile situation and instead of taking you out of it he can turn your hostile situation upside down he can change everything about your situation to the point that you love where you are and you know it's the will of God for you that is power that's something only God can do for you hallelujah and he did it for Joseph so much that he named his son to reflect that hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. In the Old Testament, there's the Sabbath principle that God gives. It's uh, from the very beginning in the first book of Moses. In the story of creation, God rests on the seventh day and ends his creation. And in the book of Exodus, it talks about the law that God gives based on this principle. In Exodus chapter 31, verses 16 through 17, Moses is about to come down off of the mountain with the Ten Commandments on stone. He's about to. And the last things that God says is therefore the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath. Throughout their generations as a perpetual covenant. And so the Jews to this day on Saturday they will not work. If, if they're believing Jews. Then they won't even walk too far. They won't lift a big heavy rock. In fact, they will make food the day before to have on the Sabbath. And they celebrate. And they rest. And it's a good thing for you to have a time of rest in your week. But, it, but in the Old Testament, it was a law. In verse 17, it is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days, the Lord made the heavens and the earth, and on the seventh day, he rested and was refreshed. And, uh, and so... Uh, we come to a place where Israel forgets the law of God. And in the midst of a judgment uh, upon them, uh, the prophet Isaiah gives a promise for the Messiah. And then he even gives a prophecy about the day of Pentecost when the Holy Spirit would fall. How many have uh, spoken in other tongues as the Holy Spirit gave you the utterance? And if you haven't, then it's a promise for you. And this is what the prophet said about it. In verse, uh, chapter 28 of Isaiah. For with stammering lips and another tongue he will speak to this people, to whom he said, This is the rest with which you may cause the weary to rest, and this is the refreshing. Jesaja 28, 11-12. See pärast on kogu ilmutus... Tõesti, mugelevate huultega ja võõras keeles kõneleb ta sellele rahvale. Tema, kes teile ütles, see on hingamispaik, laske väsinud hingata, see on osutuskoht. Ometi nad ei tahtud kuulda. 
Amen. Uh, and this is the refreshing. Amen. This is this is what God gives. And in the New Testament, in the book of Acts, Peter and John went to the temple. Petrus ja Johannes läksid templisse. And they found a lame man. Ja teidsid seal selle jalutu mehe. And God healed him. Kes ei saanud kõndida. And then they ja went to preach to the people in Solomon's porch. Ja siis nad jutustasid rahvale Salomoni samas käigus. And in Acts chapter number 3 and ja verse 19. Apostite kolmandas peatükis salmis 19. The apostle Peter says, repent therefore and be converted. Apostel Petrus Ütled, siis meed ja pöörduge, that your sins may be blotted out. When we repent, it's almost like we turn around. We start over. We begin again. And God gives us that blessing. Because not everyone has a place in life where they can start again sest et mitte igal ühel ei ole seda võimalust seda kohta kus nad saaksid uue algusega alustada but god calls you to repent aga jumal kutsub sind meele to begin again et uuesti alustada and then he says so that the times of refreshing may come from the presence of the lord ja siis ta ütles nii et isedad tuleksid kosumisajad brothers and sisters venad ja et we stand in the 21st century. And God's mercy is still fresh today. His spirit is still fresh today. It hasn't grown old. And in the way that he called the children of Israel to have a day for rest. The New Testament teaches that Every day for the New Testament believer is a rest in the Holy Spirit. And it's His Spirit that brings refreshing. It's His presence that brings renewal. We need it every day. Not just one time a week. In the Old Testament, they celebrated the uh, that one day, just once a week. But in the New Testament, every day, you can be refreshed. Every day, you can be renewed. No one can stop you. The prison can't stop you. The slavery situation can't stop you. Nothing can stop you because God is with you. And God does doesn't know a prison. Right. And God doesn't know a prison. Nothing stops him. Nothing keeps him. But he can bless you. Amen. And he can refresh you in your land of affliction. So have you had stress this week? Have you ever experienced stress? <laughs> have you had stress this morning? God can refresh you. God can renew you. God can strengthen you. And I feel strengthened today already. Just by being here with you in the presence of the Lord. And as we stand together today, I, I wonder if we could just give thanks to the Lord. And if you, haven't, if you haven't completely broken through and received what you need from God today, then as we lift our hands and lift our hearts to the Lord, let's ask Him to refresh us. Hallelujah. It's as simple as His Spirit coming over us. His presence. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we love you today. Oh God, we worship you. We recognize your presence. We recognize your blessing, your love in our lives. And Lord, we come to you hungry. We come to you thirsty.
thirsty. Refresh us today. Pour your spirit into us in a new way today. Fill us up, oh God. Renew us. Restore us. Strengthen us. I pray for your blessing on each one that's come today. I pray that you would lead us forward. Help us, oh God, to be faithful to you even in stressful times. We love you. We worship you. And we give you all the praise and all the glory. Hallelujah. Now would you just worship the Lord for a few minutes. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you for your fresh presence. Thank you for your fresh spirit. Thank you for your fresh renewal, oh God. Your fresh forgiveness. Your fresh privilege. Your fresh word. Everything that we need, oh God, it comes from us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. to fast and pray extra this week. Um, whether it's just not eating chocolate and not <laughs> Or if you want to push the plate back for two meals. Um, the Bible talks about how fasting and prayer it helps us be renewed. Why? Because instead of feeding our flesh, our own desires, we feed the Spirit. And uh, we become stronger in the Spirit as we pray and read the Bible. And God can speak to you in a time of prayer and fasting. And give you refreshing beyond just what we experience today. So, as we pray one more time, I want to ask you to uh, pray for yourself this week. But I also want to ask you to pray for the Bible history course that in a, another week we're going to send out the invitations. Pray that God would bring hungry people. And pray that God would send you to hungry people and give you an opportunity to invite someone that you care about. But let's pray and dedicate this week to the Lord. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to be refreshed. We thank you for your presence that renews us every day. And this week we want to set aside for you 
to draw closer to you and to be nearer to your will. And we want to feed the Spirit and not just the flesh. And I pray that you would pour into us what you want us to be filled with. I pray that you would bless us as we read the Bible. I pray that you would bless us as we pray. And that you would speak to us. And that you would minister. And that you would guide and lead. And we love you. And we ask that you would lead people to come to this Bible history course. That you help us to bring people. I pray that you would do supernatural things in this process that would strengthen our faith. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for everything that you're doing in our lives. And we believe you for greater things to come. Hallelujah. And we ask it all in Jesus' name. Praise God. Now would you take somebody by the hand next to you and let's pray for one another. Lord Jesus, I pray for my brother. I pray for my sister. Go ahead and find somebody to pray with. In Jesus name. Lord, I pray that you would strengthen. I pray that you would refresh. I pray that you would renew. I pray that you would I pray, oh God, for fresh courage and fresh confidence. I pray for all of us, Lord. 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 I pray for all of us, Let there be an unshakable grace. And I pray for all of us, Lord. I pray for all of us, Lord. I pray for all of us, that you would uh, Jesus confirm, O oh Lord, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. that you would show signs, O Lord, to encourage you in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for it. We believe you for it today. I pray, O oh God, for each one that's here today, Lord. Hallelujah. For Anthony and Robert, for Sandra, Lord, for Esther, and for many, for Helga, even Christopher and Michael. Those that could be here today, I pray your blessing will strengthen God. I pray, O Lord, that you would lead us, that you'd help us to be refreshed in you so that we can serve you, Lord. Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Do we know the words in this story? God. There's a song that um, says, we, I lift up my hands, uh, standing unashamed, and worship my Father, uh, exalting your name. You have, uh, let, let's, let's look at it here in Estonian actually. I'll just hold this up. And we'll sing together if you can see it. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's sing it together. Says, 